Hello there. Welcome to the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. Here I have a glass, a glass Olympic steelhead that I ordered, and it has arrived. I'm gonna open it up. I use it for my alchemy work. I do not use it for distilling alcohol of any type. Only for alchemy experiments. These jars are full of. Um, herbs. This one's Echinacea purpurea. This one's oregano, etc. So, this is a glass Olympic insulation head that I ordered. These are not cheap, especially for a good one. Seems to be well packaged. All right, get ready to open it up and check it. I don't think it's damaged. I'm going to open it up, I'm going to unwrap it, there it is there, well packaged, look at all this bubble wrap inside of a styrofoam box, lots of tape, according to the pictures, right, let me just cut up my clothing, according to the pictures before I ordered it, this is a good, a good high quality Alembic distillation head and there it is this is a 500 ml distillation head it's a good size now this is a condensing arm a lot of people say well how come you don't attach it to a condenser well I can because it has the 2440 ground glass joint however this is the condensing arm you know, this; these were primitive, medieval, um, or perhaps even ancient distillation vessels. Or this is a reproduction of an old, you know, alchemical still. Of course, I don't use it for alcohol. Now, this is a good one because it has the drip rail inside, which is important. If you notice in here, it has the drip rail where where the glass maker heated this heated this up and then pressed the head down creating that drip rail in there so that everything that vaporizes and rises up here as it condenses and coagulates and drips down it gets caught in this drip rail and has no choice but to run down the um condense condensing arm some of the some of the um reproduction olympics that I've seen out there don't have the drip rail, which is important. Um, they're much more efficient with that drip rail in there, which makes this a nice piece of alchemical glassware for my collection. So alchemists in medieval times and, and probably even farther back than that, um, made these Olympic distillation heads out of various materials. Uh, sometimes they would make them out of copper. Sometimes they would fit it to a crucible or a pot for distillation. And uh, sometimes you find them made of glass. Borosilicate. This is pro-glass borosilicate with 2440 ground glass joints. So I can, I'm going to have to buy a vessel to fit this onto. And then I'll be ready to do some distillations with this. I have another one that I purchased previously that I will show. So this is the other Alembic that I have. This one has a 2000 ml distillation head. It has the drip rail. And this one um, does not have the... Um, ground glass joint on the end. This one is designed to drip, which is important because when you're distilling uh, something in an Alembic 
or in a retort, it needs to have an, an air gap somewhere. It cannot be a completely sealed system because then when you add heat, you get pressure, which causes problems if it was in a sealed glass. You know, the glass could break or come apart. But this one has the ground glass joint on the end. So if I want to add this to a distillation train setup um, or add a, a water-cooled condensing arm on there, um, I could do that. I could add other fittings, uh, which is interesting. That's going to come in handy. Plus, it's much smaller than the other one. So it's going to be interesting to um, see how the size difference affects the distillations. in terms of speed and quality of distilled product. I do not distill alcohol. I believe I mentioned that. Welcome. So thank you for coming to the uh, Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. Um, subscribe for updates and have a nice day.